With this video, we introduce the new feature model constraint view to Feature IDE. The constraint view is aimed at optimizing the usability when working with constraints in a feature diagram. Upon opening a new feature model in Feature IDE while the constraint view is closed, you will receive a dialog asking you if you want to open the constraint view. By checking this box, you can save your decision for the future. If you want to change the default behavior, you can do this by clicking Window, Preferences, Feature IDE, and check or uncheck this box. Having this unchecked makes the dialog appear every time you open a new model. You can also open the view manually by clicking on Window, Show View, Feature Model Constraints. When the Feature Model Constraint view is visible, it contains the constraints of the currently active feature model and they are not displayed beneath the feature diagram anymore. This only works if the feature diagram of the model is active. If, however, the constraint view is currently not visible, the constraints are being displayed in the feature diagram as usual. Besides giving a clearer overview on the constraints, the view also includes several assisting functionalities. First of all, we have implemented a context menu containing every functionality from the context menu of constraints in the feature model as of release 3.5. Here you can edit or delete an existing constraint or create a new one. Also, you can collapse the feature model to the minimum size while still showing every feature contained in the selected constraint or collapse it to show every feature contained in the explanation of this constraint. The delete action still works when selecting multiple constraints at once. The constraint view also supports key bindings, for example, Ctrl and Z to undo something, or you can enter the search box by pressing Ctrl and F. Speaking of, here you have the opportunity to filter the list of constraints by substring or via regular expression. The view retains its full functionality. Another way to filter the constraints is by selecting one or multiple features in the feature model. The view then only displays constraints that contain at least one of the selected features. Another possibility to filter the list of constraints is by turning off the Show Collapse Constraints option. For this, we take a look at the toolbar of the view. Here we can create a new constraint, refresh the view manually if necessary, and we can choose to show or hide collapsed constraints. This can be done with this button, or as usual in the context menu of the feature diagram. Filtering by collapsing and searching, however, cannot be combined because we want the search box to always scan the entire set of constraints included in the feature model. As you might have already noticed, there appears a small red circle next to one of the constraints. When selecting a feature or constraint with a warning, these circles appear at every constraint that might be responsible for this. The color of the circle indicates the probability of a constraint being the cause. Clicking on a constraint also highlights the contained features in the feature diagram. This behavior is directly related to these indications in the original feature diagram. Thank you for your attention and have fun using the new feature model constraint view.